friends and family. <laughs> no, um, hey, I got my hair out today. Um, I have not had my hair straight. This is my first time this year, and it's April. It's my first time this year having my hair, my hair um, straightened. And I had I straightened my hair twice last year, which was 2015. So in the year 2016, April is my first time with my hair straight. So normally, I straighten my hair when um, I have to clip my ends. So I did clip my ends today, um, not thoroughly, but I, I kind of clipped them like where I brought them all to a, a blunt, straight blunt cut. But it's, my hair is not all the way even, so of course I'm not going to, you know, try to line all of it up and do like they taught us in hair school, trying to preserve my little ends, y'all. I'm just playing. So, um, yeah, I'm on my way to the bank right now. Y'all, I got on white. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but anyways, so that's what I got on. And then I got my little pink purse on, and my hat has the same colors in them. So let me show y'all what my hair looks like straight. It has grown tremendously since the last time I straightened it. I don't know if y'all can see it. So the only, only thing I really can see is pretty much, um, I don't think I can see is a glare from the sun. So that's the reason why I can't, I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm showing you. Anyways, so I really, really wanted to go see my nephew today. My hair took me like from eight o'clock this morning all the way to like, almost 12 something just to straighten it blow dry it and um just to straighten my hair blow dry it clip my ends and wrap it and my hair still did not come out straight y'all i don't know and i bought some new flat irons yesterday it wasn't no good flat irons but they go up to like 100 degrees i honestly don't like the plate on them so yeah, I didn't like the plate on them, but they, they did a good enough job to where, you know, I don't have to do anything else. So, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to see my nephew now. He's on his spring break, so I kind of had wanted to go see him today because um, it's what? It's like 2.30. I, I, went, I got in the tub. I started reading, so I stayed in the tub for about an hour. I smell good, though. I smell great. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I wanted, I really wanted to go see him. And so now it's like almost three o'clock. My friend's coming over. So I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to go now. And I wanted to just tell my friend not to go because you know that I don't have a phone. I couldn't call him and say, hey, don't come over. I'm going to go see my nephew instead. I have to just either go up here and call and then I have to still take a chance on my nephew being there or not being there so that's the reason why I decided not to go but um I, oh, he was on my mind the whole time I was in the tub I was like I should just get out and try to like go over there catch a cab catch uber something of course I can't catch uber because I don't have a phone go figure um so I wanted to catch a cab but then I would still have to stop at the bank and that's gonna cost a whole lot of extra money that I'm trying to put towards my car so I was like, well, maybe I should go and do it on Wednesday or Thursday, and I kind of get him Wednesday night. But then I'm still not going to be able to see him Thursday, so I might as well leave him at home. So yeah, I'm kind of conflicted with when I'm going to see him because on Saturday, on Saturday I have to work a double shift. On Sunday I work a double shift. I normally would be able to get him on Sunday morning, but I, I can't because I have to work. Still have to work a double shift. I know we'll be able to get them on Sunday, but you know, I like to go to church and do some other stuff. How you doing? So that's the reason why I'm not doing that. Um, come on out. That's cute. How you doing? Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on right now. I'm on my way to the bank. When I come back, I'm cooking some pork chops and potato. I mean, what am I cooking? 
I'm making some pork chops. I have not made no pork chops in so long. Um, I'm making some pork chops. Then I'm gonna make some gravy. And then after I put, cook the pork chops, I'm gonna make some macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna make the velveta kind this time. Not the homemade from scratch. Cause still, I ain't got time for that. So I started to read this book called The Sister Experiment. Sister Experiment, so good. If y'all have not read it by Mimi, Mimi something, y'all should go check it out. It's, it's like a Christian book. It's kind of talking about, um, so a girl got zapped. I'm going to tell y'all about it another time. I don't have no space on my phone to tell y'all. But I'm going to tell y'all. I'll probably do a book review on it. Anyways, I hope y'all have a good day. Let me um, get off. Um, I will see y'all in the next one. Have a good one. Oh, yeah. Y'all stay positive. Stay positive and don't let people get y'all down, okay?